So we've now learned about Apaka accelerators, meaning an abstract view of all physical devices. And we've learned about Apaka devices, which represent uh, individually one concrete physical device. So now we um, have to somehow offload kernels and memory operations to the individual devices. This is where the queue concept comes into play. Alpaca queues enable communication between host and device. We provide two different queue types, both blocking and non-blocking. Blocking queues will block the host until all device side command have re commands have returned. And non-blocking queues return control to the host immediately, which, which means that the device side commands that were issued to this queue will run asynchronously with regard to the host. You typically uh, choose your queue behavior in the beginning using a type def, so you either decide on a blocking or a non-blocking queue. Then you will define your queue type using uh, in, uh, the accelerator and the queue property as a template parameter, and then you'll instantiate this for uh, and generate an actual queue or uh, construct an actual queue, which is then tied to a specific device. Queues execute tasks. We'll get to tasks in the next slide. So, for example, we've seen this yesterday already where uh, you can submit a kernel tasks to the queue. This is done with the enqueue command from Alpaca. You can check a queue for completion. So, if a queue is empty, this means that there are no outstanding command, uh, no uh, running commands. All commands have finished. And you can also wait for completion or events, which we will also cover in the next slide, or other queues. So with a default wait command, which you just, where you just pass in the queue, this will block the calling thread until all queue operations have computed, uh, completed. Then you can wait uh, for a specific event, which will just block the operations on the queue until the specific event has been reached. And that you can also tell a queue to wait on another queue, which means that this uh, first queue will be blocked until all operations on the other queue have finished. Device style operations, which means kernels or memory operations, are called tasks. Tasks on the same queue are executed in order, uh, following the FIFO principle which means that if we launch two tasks on the same queue, task one will be uh, completed before task two starts. However, if we use multiple queues, the order of tasks is not specified. So if we enqueue task one to queue A and task two to queue B, task two may start before, after, or in parallel to task one. So somehow we need to synchronize this, which is where we can use events. Uh, events can be inserted before, after, or between tasks. Uh, the um, programming style or the programming approach is shown below here. So you'll first construct an event on a specific device, and then you'll enqueue that event on the device's queue. And then you can use the wait command to tell a queue to wait uh, on this event, and which will, it will only resume after the first queue has reached this event, meaning the pre uh, preceding operations of the event have all been completed. So this is how you would typically set up the accelerator, the device, and the queue. First, you'll decide on the dimensionality and an index type. Then you choose your backend and pass in the dimensionality and index type of template parameters. Then you'll obtain a device from your device list. In this example, we're just using the first device in the list. And then you, uh, this example will create a non-blocking queue for the chosen device. And after this has been done, we can uh, start to enqueue device side operations on this queue. Are there any questions to queues? Uh, yes, regarding the event. Um, so say I enqueue an event, but my queue is so fast that it's immediately reaching the event. And mm -hmm. then I start waiting for the event. Will it unblock immediately or block forever? Uh, it should unblock immediately. Okay. Uh, yes, it, yeah. it will unblock immediately, yes. So it's safe in that regard. Any more queue questions? Uh, yes, I have a follow-up from a previous one. Can I enqueue tasks for accelerators 
so that use the same device but different dimension or indices with the same Q? Um, Andrea, again, uh, the Q is a, it operates not on accelerator directly but on device, right? So if you have two okay. different accelerators, like we discussed before, let's say to the VM token of E, they will use the same device, uh, right? So you could, uh, so, so you could uh, theoretically, I guess, even have the same queue for them. You don't have to, but you can. Okay, okay, okay. so I can have a, a device and a queue for the device or multiple Yeah, yeah, so, so if, you, if you go back, if you go back a little bit, uh, Jan, could you show how to fabricate the queue? Yeah. I'm not sure if you have it on the slide. This one? Uh, yeah, so as you could see uh, here, so my dev is a device, it's not accelerator. And, and actually, yeah, okay, yeah. I see. Now the Q type is, is, is a template of accelerator, but internally it's actually will be redirected to, to a template that's only on, depends on device. Yeah, so that's a bit confusing. We should yeah, probably fix it. Exactly. This is what I find confusing. That ah, okay, okay, sorry. Yeah, that's a good point. I only care about the device. Thank you. Um, um, this, this, this um, that you can pass an accelerator to create a queue as a simplification for the user that you don't need to handle all the time uh, our concepts like platform, device, and accelerator. The accelerator is only a logical mapping uh, how you execute later on um, um, the threads on, on, on a device directly. And uh, to create a queue, you need normally uh, um, the platform pipe and uh, you can derive the, this information from the accelerator. Uh, therefore, uh, uh, in Alpaca, you, you are allowed to pass inside uh, uh, to the queue, also other arguments like the platform. Uh, here, this is simpler if, if, the, if the user always thinks about uh, accelerator or that, that he think uh, uh, or uh, work always with the accelerator instead of uh, all hierarchies. But uh, from the accelerator, you can get the device type and you can get the platform. Therefore, um, they are compatible an accelerator or if you um, start a kernel uh, with a, for a given accelerator. This is a normal task inside of the queue and they are um, inside of the same instance of the queue. So you can mix it for, for, uh, for the same uh, accelerator type that you say, uh, CUDA 3D dim uh, dimensional uh, accelerator, uh, CUDA 2D accelerator, both uh, can be uh, uh, put into the same queue. 